Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 10 years now and today I'd like to share Psalm 144 verses 1 to 8. And here's God's word. Blessed be the Lord, my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hand of the foreigners, whose mouth speak lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Psalm 144, 1 to 8. And here's my blog. The Lord trains his people for battle. My Lord is my rock and my shield. He protects me. He is my stronghold and deliverer. He defends me. He ensures that his people are trained for warfare. God fully gives us his word for instructions to follow. Though we may not physically see these unseen forces, he exposes their tactics and schemes for our awareness. Even though man is just a minute part of his creation, God our Lord treasures him as his own possession. From his throne he provided a solution to our sins. He stretched out his hand to rescue and keep us free. The Lord has given us his own spirit to guide our path. Why would we even think we can go our own way? He trains us when he gave us his commands we can win by simply following his will and laws. Go and wear God's full armor and be ready for war. He has equipped his people for himself, for he himself is our rock. Reflection. How has God equipped you to face the battles you face on a regular basis? Well, first of all, if we are chosen by God, we are given that faith, we are given that assurance, we are um, given all the promises uh, to look up to so that we can face all these battles. Sadly, there are so many people who, because we do not see these spiritual forces, in Ephesians 6 it explains that we are dealing with unseen forces. And since a part of us is spirit, there is that spirit in us, even though we don't see it, it's, it's present. So when we do not see the battles, like, uh, like for example, um, the Apostle Paul talks about this in Romans, that there is an inner battle inside us that um, is a battle between the flesh, between the flesh and the spirit, the good and the evil. So God has given us his word, has given us all his promises, has given us all the people uh, before us so that we can see that there is really a battle going on in our lives constantly, every second, every minute. It's, it's, if we do not accept that there is a battle, that there is a battle that we're facing every moment, we're going to be defeated all the time um, if we deny and we um, and, and we avoid it it's it's not gonna go away so God has given us his word given us the Lord Jesus Christ to save us from sin and if we believe in him uh, the, the problem is if we think we believe in him and we don't walk in the way of the spirit then we have a problem because that would uh, be 
living dual lives. You cannot say that you, you have faith and yet there are only some parts of God's will or God's command that you follow or that you believe. So it's important for us to wear the armor of God, and that's also said in Ephesians 6, uh, that uh, we need to use the sword of the Spirit because that's, a, that's the Word of God. That's our sword of the Spirit. That's the only way that we can smash whatever lies are being given to us. And that's how Jesus gave us the example in the... In the 40 days of his fasting, when the devil was tempting him, all he did was to give the word of God, as, as God says so. So it's important for us to be aware that we should wear our armor. Like We don't go to battle without our armor, without our shield, without our, without our helmet of salvation um, and the shield of faith. Because we're, if we're doing that, we are just opening ourselves to be the target and to be defeated by the enemy. So I encourage you to go to the Lord. He is our rock. He is our defender. He is our fortress. So if we don't do that on a daily basis, uh, we can't wear God's armor because uh, only in His Word will we find uh, instructions and training how to wear it every day and every moment. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.